Hey guys, it's Alex here today I've got another After Effects tutorial and um, I'm afraid that I have been gone for a while. Um, I've just been taking a bit of a break as I'm probably sure you've noticed because I haven't been posting a lot. I've posted a couple of intros. I've just been making in the spare time that I've had but I haven't had a lot at all. Um, but yeah, I'm back now and well, I'm not back fully but um, I've got a bit more time on my hands now it's Christmas holidays. So I've decided to do a bit more uploading. Now, I haven't actually had any tutorial ideas because I haven't been really editing. I've been playing Black Ops 2, just taking a break and having a go at that. But I have started editing just a contest entry and um, I thought something that I see um, a bit uh, in quite a lot of edits and not a lot of people have done, well, I haven't seen a tutorial on it, is actually how you can create cinematics I'm not sorry, um, use optical flares and cinematics to create some really nice effects so you can see we've got this optical flare here so if I was to toggle that off that's way it's on full, my bad, my computer is running quite slow today so you can see it becomes really boring um, there's not a lot to it but immediately with that optical flare it just makes it look so much nicer I think um, so yeah I'm just basically going to show you how you can do that and you can see it's all tracked into my 3D space with my text so yeah we shall get into it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually so I've got the uh, clip here so I'm just going to drag it into its own composition so I've got my clip now you will want to uh, motion track it but to save time I'm just going to copy my camera but, or you can do this in track cam right by right clicking and tracking camera or using Buju or a plugin like camera tracker there's plenty of tutorials out there so just go search up motion tracking if you don't know how to so I'm just going to copy my camera like so just control C that and then control V so now I have my camera and if I'm I'm just gonna copy the I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna copy this with the camera tracker plugin. Oh no, sorry, the uh, built in camera tracker. So let's paste that. Just delete that earlier one. So basically what I've got here is my camera tracker. Now if you're in Bougie you'll sort of see the same thing with all the points and you will with any program you use pretty much. And basically I want to add my optical flare up here in this corner where the sun sort of looks I just want to sort of boost that and emphasize it and give cast down some light on here. So I want it to be casted right back here. So I'm going to find like a null like this one here that's right back in the distance. So I can just create, right click and create a new null or you can export one say from Buju. Now I'm going to hit P on the keyboard so we get our position. So now we can see these values. Um, what's happening here? Just delete one of those. So now we have that null that is there so that gives us a sort of reference in 3d space so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new solid and call this op uh, op optical flare like so so we just got a black solid and we can then type in at optical optical flares like so now this is a bit a uh, plugin by Video Copilot. So if you don't have it, I definitely recommend you go look at it and try and get it. Um, there's also other ones like No Light Factory, um, and there's also an After Effects version as well. But I definitely recommend this one. I do want to keep my current color scheme. Okay, so now we can see that we've got this black, and we can't see our clip. So what we can do is we can hit F4, and now bring up our blending modes, and we can just set this to Add, which is going to remove all the black. So now we can see we've got this flare here. So we can go into options. And as you can see, there's a few presets that come with it. Like so, I'm just going to try and find one. So this one maybe. We can try this one. I haven't tried this one. And we can maybe edit. I want to make the glow slightly bigger. So we can click on it. And then we can scale it up. Like so. So now we have this flare. Already that looks quite good, but you'll see it's not in 3D space. It just looks plain and it's not moving. So to do this, because we got our 3D camera, we can now make it the source type 
to 3D. Now by doing this, this will now put it into 3D space. And as you can see, it's in the wrong, posi wrong position, but you can see it's actually um, reacting to our scene. You can see that it's right in front of the camera here. So now what we can do is we can see that we've got our Z position here from our node that tells us that that's sort of how far back it is. So we can then type in exactly the same thing into our Z position for our optical flares. So that's 14146 like so. So it's going to push it back. It's just here. So we can see that's pushed it right back. And now that's probably going to be looking a bit more like how we want it to be. I'm probably just going to push that back even further. And now we can just bring, now we can just mess around with the position so we can see that the x is minus 1, 3, 2, 1. So we just can, we just can put all these values in. And then the uh, y is minus 5, 6, 7, 6. So now we have that up there, but obviously that's still not really in the position. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bump up the scale to make it a bit bigger. And I'm just going to tint this a slightly lighter orange, not yellow, a bit more. Something a bit more like that. So just pump up the scale. Okay, and now we're just going to want to position that up in our sky here. So we can hold shift to make it, um, it just makes it go a lot quicker. So you can, so when we're messing around with these massive values, it will just make it quicker by holding shift to move everything. So you can see that's roughly in the right position. And now we can see that that is now staying there and it creates this really nice effect. And you've got like these glints. You don't have to have those. But they can look quite cool, but all to do, or if you don't want those, then you can just delete them by clicking the X. So as you can see, we create some really nice effects. And if I just toggle that off, then you can see it really looks quite boring. Instantly when you put that on, it gives it this really nice effect. So that's basically just a little quick uh, thing today. Sorry about that, if I sounded like I just suddenly stopped, I just had to go do something. So. Yeah, I was saying, so yeah, this is a really nice effect. Um, now, um, I hope to try and upload a few more, so if you've got any more tutorial suggestions, please leave them, or if you see an effect, then let me know in the comments, so I can have a look at it and uh, maybe try and help you out on something. Um, maybe also, um, as I said, I've been playing a bit of Black Ops, um, could maybe do some gameplays on that. And what I was also thinking to do was, as I'm nearly hitting 1k, I was probably going to do an editing contest. So comment if you think that's a good idea or if you would like to see something else at 1k. So just give me some ideas for what you would like to see. So yeah, that's all guys. If you've got any questions, then please uh, leave a comment and I'll try and help you. But yeah, this was just a little quick tutorial. Um, it's not that advanced, but... I think it makes your cinematics look a lot nicer. So yeah, I will. Um, that's it for today, guys. Um, I will see you on the next tutorial or video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and thanks. See you guys.